there are a few tricks of the trade in terms of making sure you get the proper result on unipedal foot testing without needing to retest five times and wonder if you've got the right result. Number one is you're going to get them to bring the feet a bit closer than they naturally would. Why? So that when they pick one foot off, they're not falling over to a side based on the fact that their feet were wide on the ground. Number two, we're going to consistently as the test unfolds, ask them and remind them to look straight ahead. If they look down, even for a fraction of a second as they're performing the test, they're going to go into valgus. It's, it's, it's going to be a false positive. And pick up the left foot. Keep, look, keep looking straight. No. So he, he lost balance. That doesn't count. Oh. It's okay. It's going to happen. And we need to manage that. If the person loses balance, that's not a foot test anymore. So again, he probably moved his eyes a bit. Uh, whatever the story is, look straight ahead, pick up the left foot. What's that? Uh, if it did it go in at all? A little, yeah. yeah. It did once? Twice. 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 And if it's just once, what is it? Um, we keep testing. Look straight ahead. Pick up the opposite foot. Keep looking straight ahead. What's that? <laughs> Done. If the ankle turns in, it's a valgus. That was never supposed to happen. In unipedal, it's going to turn out. It'll go back to the center but it's going to turn back out. It will not buckle in.